The streets of California are home to an estimated 180,000 homeless people, the most in the nation, and these encampments are a stark reminder of the state's ongoing housing crisis. Gavin Nuisance finally issues an executive order banning all homeless encampments in California. It only took him about 15 years to get here, but we are here. So in this video, we're going to break down the mindset behind this decision. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Devori Darken show. You already know what to do. Like, share and subscribe to the channel so the algorithm could push this message out to people just like you and me. So Gavin Nuisance, right? He is a nuisance to California. Every single policy this guy has released has been crazy progressive. And this homeless issue is an example of, of that. California only spent 20 billion on this and it only got worse. So before I go any further, let's play the video. I don't think there's anything more urgent and more frustrating than addressing the issue of encampments in the state of California. Over the course of the last number of years, the state has stepped up where in the past we provided no support, no resources to cities and counties to clean up encampments like this. Today, we've invested now over $1 billion in encampment resolution grants, not only to clean up sites like this, but to address the underlying issue in the first place. One of the big issues, though, that has been an impediment uh, was the courts. In the past, the courts have denied the ability for local government, including the state, to clean up many of these encampments. Today, I announced an executive order to move the process forward. We're done. It's time to move with urgency at the local level to clean up these sites, to focus on public health, to focus on public safety. There are no longer any excuses. A billion dollars this state has invested to support communities to clean up these encampments. We have now no excuse with the Supreme Court decision. Okay, so let me explain what the problem really is here, okay? California is continuing to spend more money than any other state on homelessness, and it has not improved whatsoever. That's number one. Number two, Gavin Newsom is blaming the court system on why he hasn't been able to fix it. But for the past 15 years, he's been promising that he was going to fix it. It's going to be fixed. All we need is this amount of money and this amount of time, and it hasn't happened. And number three, listen. Most people on the corner who are homeless, they're dealing with either mental health issues or drug abuse. The programs for drug abuse and mental health, it's non-existent in California. Are there nonprofits trying to help these people? Yes, but is this is the system streamlined? Absolutely not. What's happening is the more they continue to spend money on programs just like this, the more they continue to tax the citizens of California, and it doesn't solve the problem. So the overarching issue here that I have with Kevin Newsom is they thought that just throwing money at this problem would solve it, and it hasn't whatsoever. So in saying that, this brings us to the next video. In a statement, LA Mayor Karen Bass says strategies that just move people along from one neighborhood to the next or give citations instead of housing do not work. Shayla Myers is the senior attorney for the Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles. When Caltrans does an encampment clearing and closes off in a public space next to a freeway, all it does is push those unhoused residents into onto city sidewalks. LA City Council member Tracy Park supports the governor's order. Around Rose and 3rd Avenues, District 11 has enforced a ban on tents. She says things are markedly better here than even two months ago because people are offered housing as well. Okay, so let me explain further what's really going on. So my wife and I, we live in the central part of California. We travel very often. When I say very often, probably three to four times a month down to the LA area. And we always see the homeless people in Santa Monica. They're on the sidewalk. I mean, you're driving down one neighborhood and I mean, it's just beautiful. The homes, it looks good. And then you turn down a particular street and you're like, whoa, where did all these homeless people come? Like, that's literally the way that it is. So obviously passing this order is a good thing because it's going to remove that kind of shock and how it drives down the value of a, of a neighborhood. But also what I noticed in another city I used to live in, the homeless used to stay under the underpass, right? So, you know, the underpass, there's like a section that's concrete. They would sleep on that. Well, the city got smart and started fencing off that area so they could not access it. So obviously there are things that cities can do. They can fence off things. 
Uh, they can pass laws or issue an executive order, which he finally did, right, preventing uh, these homeless people from staying on the street. But what they can also do, and I'm not saying this is perfect, but instead of just busing them to the next city, we need to put them in some type of like camp where you're either here to get off of drugs or you're here to get your mental health right. And then and then we filter them based on that. And then we send them through rehab and we get them back on their feet by teaching them the skills that they need. Right. And if there are people who don't want to be there and don't want to participate, then fine, kick them back out on the street. But I, I don't believe throwing money at this is going to solve the problem. So let's play this video. This sweeping order comes with its own set of limitations as the effectiveness of such measures is now under scrutiny. A recent Rand Corporation study suggested that dismantling encampments might not have a long term impact on reducing homelessness. Meanwhile, civil liberties groups, they are set to challenge any heavy handed enforcement, ensuring that protections against excessive fines and due process violations are being upheld. OK, so you're seeing people push back on this executive order. And I don't believe any homeless program is going to be perfect. That is absolutely a fact. But I tell you what, I'd rather them be off the street, put them in some type of shelter, pay their rent, either build a community, right? And have the government pay for it. I mean, get them off the street. I don't think the answer is leaving them on the street to create their own little tent cities. That's not a good thing. Get them off the street, get them into a shelter, get them into a mental health program, get them into a, a rehab program for drug abuse and go down that route. But what they've been doing is kind of just housing people in these hotels if they can get them there. But there's like this wait list. And for some reason, they can't even account for where the money went. I mean, it's just total corruption at the end of the day. So as I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you. This is what happens when you vote a liberal, and I'm not just saying a normal liberal, a liberal slash progressive governor, this is exactly what we get in California. We signed up for this. This is who we elected. Now, I didn't vote for Gavin Newsom, but there's a lot of people who did. And he's coming from San Francisco where they got to see what his results were. When he left San Francisco, that was a shit town. But this is what we get. So if you're out there and your governor is up for election, you might want to think twice again because we have more control at the local level when we vote than we do federally. So in a sense, it's on us as Californians to do better and vote people into office that are going to do right by the citizens in California. So that's my mindset about this. What about yours? What do you think about Gavin Newsom issuing an executive order banning homeless camps in California? Finally, what do you think about the billions of dollars that have been wasted on this program for it to only get worse? And what do you think about these groups pushing back on this executive order? I'm just not too sure we're going to get anywhere with this, which is why I want to hear your answers in the comment section below. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. Stay grateful. Stay focused and stay true. Peace.